The group is restoring production that was lashed last year to support prices as demand surged during the worst of the epidemic recession, which sapped demand for fuel. The group will add back 350,000 barrels per day in May, 350,000 in June, and 400,000 in July. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia will over the same period restore an additional 1 million barrels per day in cards that it made on its its own. OPEC members led by Saudi Arabia and non-members led by Russia have been meeting monthly to determine production levels as they face a recovery in demand, though pace has been uncertain. They face conflicting pressures, raising production before the demand is there, resending prices lower, but lower production levels deprive national budgets of money at a difficult time. Oil prices were trading higher despite the decision to increase production, suggesting markets see more than adequate demand for added oil. Crude oil traded 3.6% higher at $61.28 per barrel in trading on the New York Mercantile Exchange, while Brent crude rose 3.1% per barrel to $64.66. Saudi Arabia's energy minister Abdulaziz bin Salman, who has urged a careful approach with the recovery still uncertain, said that the caution is still there in the group's approach. High crude oil prices are eventually reflected in the price of gasoline for U.S. motorists since the cost of oil makes up half the price at the pump. Another factor that could soon push prices high is demand for gasoline, which is approaching pre-pandemic levels.